Hey, what's up? Kick back, relax, unwind, and, uh, you know, just enjoy the video. The episode begins with Marco chasing Glossaric around the castle. Eventually, he ends up in Buffrog's office. Marco finds a letter for Star and reads it. He's clearly disturbed by it. Star is in her bedroom talking to Tom. She's still in shock from the revelation that she isn't a member of the Butterfly family. Tom wants to console her because he's her boyfriend. This is an important theme of the episode as Tom desires to become closer to Star. Though every time he tries, something gets between them. He clearly envies the close relationship that Star and Marco have. Star is about to open up to Tom However, Marco bursts in and gives Star the letter. She reads it and realizes that Buffrog did not write the letter. Star and Marco want to find him. However, Tom begs Marco to let him go with Star instead. He relents and so Tom leaves with Star. They go to Buffrog's house and find that it's empty. Star sees Katrina's doll and takes it. <clears throat> then they head to the monster village so they can ask if anyone's seen Buffrog. To their surprise, the houses in the village have been recently abandoned. While trying to figure out what happened, they're both tranquilized and captured. They wake up, but are restrained. The captors threaten them in an attempt to have them abandon their search for Buffrog. The captors are about to harm Tom, when suddenly Buffrog appears. The captors release Star and Tom. Buffrog reveals he and his children are leaving Muni. It's clear the other monsters from the village are leaving as well. This highlights the monster and Muni relations are at an all-time low. Star tearfully begs Buffrog not to leave, but to no avail. Buffrog believes that Star cannot fix the issues that plague Muni society. There's no easy fix for racism. Before the monsters depart, Tom makes a final plea for them not to leave. He cites the Buffrog working at the castle as a sign of progress. However, Buffrog reveals that Mimin from the castle still fear him. The monsters counter that Tom cannot judge them because he is treated differently. Tom reveals that while he is royalty, he is also half monster and has been discriminated against because of the way he looks, which shocks the monsters. He also encourages them to stay so that they can help improve Mimin and, mon and monster relations. Despite being inspired by Tom's speech, the monsters decide to leave. Buffrog bids Star a tearful farewell. However, he says he may return once Star becomes queen, which may signal what's going to happen in the future, as Star may have to ascend to the throne. Star may have to lead the Muman people against Meteora. The monsters begin to leave. Katrina gives Star a bracelet she made for her, and Star returns Katrina's doll. Buffrog does a salute before he leaves. Star begins to doubt herself as she believes she may have made things worse for monster kind. However, Tom encourages Star not to give up on her dream. They hug, signaling that there may be hope. Lots of cool stuff happened in this episode. It's nice to see that Tom has grown a lot, though you can clearly see that he's very frustrated with, uh, with Marco and Star's relationship because he is Star's boyfriend and he does want to be close to her. But every time he tries to, you know, um, every time he tries to talk to her, they try to have a meaningful conversation, um, something just comes up, you know, like somebody will interrupt them, like kind of like at the monster party, or even just like in this episode where um, Marco kind of just bursts in. So it's almost as if like, you know, the universe is acting against them. But sometimes I think that Star isn't really thinking enough about Tom. And well, I don't know, like, like I, I kind of hope that maybe in the future she, she does pay more attention to him and she realizes that that her trying to like change the world is definitely getting in the way of their relationship. And I'm hoping that maybe uh, in the future, uh, maybe they'll, 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 get, they'll be closer together or, you know, may, maybe not, who knows. It, it's sad to see uh, Buffrog leave. I feel like he's gonna be back pretty soon, like hopefully in the finale. If not, like, it'll be sad if he's gone for, like, for, like, a whole season or two. Because he, cause he's a pretty cool character, and his, uh, his tadpoles are, are pretty cool characters, too. Uh, beyond that, I'm just, uh, watching this episode is just getting me more and more excited for the, for the upcoming finale. And, uh, that's about it. I just hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And, uh, you know, until next time.